I was a check cashing uh, manager. That shit, at the, during the riots, we got robbed, almost got killed. Oh, you were around back then. Yeah, I was oh. I was involved. Yeah, where, where were you living back I then? I almost got killed. Was in that, the riots? In the riots. Let's hear about that. I, I want to hear. Martha. Yeah, I want to hear about that that's shit. A, that's a long story. <laughs> no, no, we got time now. Like, uh, yeah, you, you never talked about this, so yeah? This story, uh, this particular? No, I know. Maybe on my podcast I have, but I'll talk about it. Yeah, yeah. So you were around during the LA riots. Yep. You saw was, Korean motherfuckers with AKs? Fuck yeah, I was right in the middle of them. Oh, I was shit. Working, I was working at a chain in a chain of check cashing stores. Where? We had in Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Um, right there in the middle of it. Hawthorne off uh, Rosecrans and, and El Segundo. Okay. Um, Right on Crenshaw. We had a check cashing store on Crenshaw. So where it was going down? Where, where it was all going down. So we had five stores. And me, it was me and this guy named Bill, we were the managers of the five stores. And we'd have uh, like a, a lady or some guy work the teller. There was a check cashing store. Mm-hmm. And me and uh, Bill, we would, be, we would open the stores. We would close the stores. We would transport money to, uh, from the bank to the stores. We would take uh, money uh, back and forth from the bank to the stores. And all. we were just... Um, you know, small time check cashing stores. It was no big deal. And during the riots, the Rodney that, King thing, yeah. When that shit went down, it was around uh, two o'clock, and we were all looking at the uh, on TV. On TV, shit. the trial. And they're like, you know, the riots were going off, and we were trying to figure out whether we should shut down the stores oh. like two o'clock, or should we stay open till seven? We usually stay open till seven, and we were looking at the TV and like, shit, it's right down on Crenshaw, and I fuck. We got we, we to gotta close at least that store that's on Crenshaw. So we oh, closed yeah. that store down, took all the money. Each store had a safe in the floor, those floor safes. Yeah. Where then you could put like a fake tile over it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, and the safes were in the floor. So the owner, he's at home. He's in Culver City. He's on the phone. Some scared white guy is like, fuck. He goes, okay, close down the Crenshaw store, but keep the other ones open unless it gets crazy. So it started getting crazy. It started getting close to all the stores, so the owner said, fuck it, close close all the stores, get the fuck out of it, because they were looting. And check cashing oh, stores were, they, were oh, prime yeah. targets. Oh, they did it that night? They are looting that night? When they heard the verdict? I don't know when the verdict... Oh, okay, this yeah, is yeah. Like, the, the riots were happening. Okay, so the this is the riot. Oh, this is the, the riots. I don't know when... Maybe the verdict was that day or the yeah, day Right, before. right, 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 right. So they were the looting. The riots were going on. It's about two in the afternoon. The owner finally said, shut the stores down. So we shut and he goes, bring all the money, bring the money. They're going to break in because we knew because they were already breaking into yeah. check, check cashing stores uh, deeper in South Central. So we knew we were a target. So uh, the owner says, grab all the money and put it in a duffel bag and bring it to my house. It was about $25,000. Okay. It wasn't that much. We had a lot, uh, and, uh, and, and then probably another like 20 grand in money orders. Money orders are big in uh, yeah. low income areas. Right, right. And so we closed all the stores, and it was either going to be me or Bill to, at the last store that was closed to take the duffel bag to Stewart. So Bill said, oh, I'll just take it and go, okay, you sure? So he took it because we had never done that. So Bill said he would take it to Stewart's house. And he got in his van, went uh, west on Rosecrans, and I, like a dumbass, I wanted to go down Crenshaw and see what the hell was going on. Oh, wow. So I went down Crenshaw. I had a gun. I had a bulletproof vest. I always had a bulletproof vest. Oh, you had a gun? gun? Always. Okay, okay. Always. Cool, man. Yeah, you can't be... Yeah, I had, I had a gun on me at all times. Cool. In my pants, and I had a bulletproof what vest. What kind of gun on. was it? Just a... a Glock? A seven-shot, nine-millimeter. Cool, man. Piece of shit. I yeah. still have it. But, um... Cool. Uh, it's small. I would yeah. take it everywhere. Man. You had a bulletproof vest. Even when I wasn't working, yeah. I'd be at the laundromat on Sunset, right by the Guitar Center. I'd be there. Oh, it's right down the street. Yeah, yeah. I'd be reading magazines and shit with a gun. And I remember this this homeless dude was in there, like eyeballing me. He was like mean. He was. It looked like he wanted to rob me. Really? Or something. And I I had so much confidence because of that gun. Yeah, this, you, this was before yeah. jujitsu. Right, right, I just right. Had a gun. I'm like. <laughs> You stared at him back? I'm like, no, I didn't pull it out. Yeah. Like, like the look in my eye, because that gun gave me so much confidence. That's what it does, huh? He saw that look in my eye and goes, fuck this dude. Like, he knew. Oh, he knew. Oh, right, right. He knew. He knew. I had too much confidence in Yeah, yeah. I'm like, bitch, I got a gun and a bulletproof vest. And now uh, jujitsu, too, yeah. (laughs) That's before. Okay, but. So, so if you. I wouldn't have been that confident if I didn't have a gun. I would have been Right, right, right. But anyway, so I go down Crenshaw. 
He goes west on Rosecrans, and I'm driving down, and fuck, I, I drive right through the middle, middle of it going, oh, shit, I have my gun, right, ready to go. Just driving, going, holy shit. Everyone's all over the place, fucking just trash and shit. I get home uh, to Hollywood, and we didn't have parking at the apartment complex I lived in. It was the shittiest apartment I've ever lived in. It was $495 a month. It was like a 1910 hotel right on Hollywood Boulevard in Sycamore. Right down the street. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. that one that's like uh, right on... It's, it looks like it's a Laverne and Shirley building. Right. And <clears throat> So I'm like, fuck. I went home. It was like 3 o'clock. Now I go, fuck, I can't park on the streets. People are looting. They're going to break into my car. So... Uh, um, I knew this one. My my uh, ex girlfriend's friend li- lived on Fuller. She let me use her garage. She didn't have a car. And then I run back. And as I'm running back, now I'm running. The riots are gone. I park my truck. I'm running back to my apartment. And some guy looks. Remember what? How long have you been in Hollywood? Oh, Forever. God. Yeah, long 20, time. 20, now. About fifteen remember, years now. Do you remember right where Ross Dress for Less is? Right there on Sunset. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. You remember it used to be a silo. Yeah. Do you yeah. Remember it was a silo. Silos were. Were like uh, circuit cities. Yeah, they yeah, were a yeah. Competition back in the day was Circuit City versus. I don't think silo. I was there. They were like back price then. wars and shit. Yeah, yeah. They were like the top dogs, and it was a silo. And when I was running back to my apartment on Sycamore, some guy, I see a bunch of dudes running down the street. And they go, "You going to silo?" I'm like, "What?" And everyone's like running to silo because they were gonna, they were gonna, they, they were looting right here. In oh, they, it, too. around this area? Yes, yeah, not as bad, but they were just. It was just an excuse to break into some silos and circuit cities. And yeah, shit. yeah. So yeah. I get into my apartment safe. Oof. I take a nap, turn on the TV, and I fall asleep, and I take a nap, and I had a dream that I got shot. So I wake up to a phone call, and the owner said, Billy's been shot. Oh, I I'm like, oh, Billy's shit. your boy. The guy that took the money. That took the money, they the duffel bag. They were casing out our joint. He got shot? They were casing us out, and they saw him grab the bag. They followed him, like maybe a couple lights, and when he had a red light, he had his window down. They just went up to him, said, give me the bag. He gave him the bag, and they shot him in the stomach. He was in the hospital. Wow, he almost died. Wow, dude. They would have got me. They yeah, came, you would. They would have followed me and got me if I would have took the bag. They were casing the joint out. Yeah, like a movie. That was like I a movie. I could have easily fucking died. Fuck, right there. dude. They were watching us, and then at the next morning, all the check, all our check cashing stores were all broken in. Oh yeah, for they sure. They took uh, sledgehammers and broke through, through the steel doors to get to the the back, the you know where the tellers are. There's a steel door. They must have hit that motherfucker the, the way that door looked, like. 55,000 times Fuck. until it finally they finally punched through they yeah. trashed everything they took bullshit like like a little calculator at her you know yeah yeah, like, yeah 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 but yeah. they didn't even find the safes they didn't even find them oh because they're hidden they're hidden they could have left the money where we oh, always do everything and they wouldn't even have found they didn't even they wouldn't have been able to get in anyways those are some thick ass floor safes there's yeah. no way you how know. thick pretty damn Dude, thick like, like the, the top of like it, bank like thick, that thick. Okay. It's like a steel Yeah, there's thing. no way. No way they're going to There's no way. No way. Impossible. So is Billy okay now? Or? He's okay now. Oh, so thank what God. Happened. So, so the owner. Fuck, they Billy. They two owners. They two owners. <laughs> this, is how I, this is how I got into the strip club. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then I did a strip strip club DJ for the next 10 years after this. Wait, wait. You did? So <laughs> wait, yeah, wait. the owner of the check oh, cashing store, Yeah. he had a silent partner who owned some strip clubs. Oh. Bear Elegance, The Oddball. You know Bear Elegance by the airport? No, 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 no. Really. Jet Strip okay. by the airport and then uh, uh, the Oddball in the Valley. Oh, cool. So one of the silent partners, <laughs> one of the silent partners of the check cashing store owned strip clubs too. So when Billy, Billy, uh, he had a colostomy bag for a while. He was fucked up. They, they, oh. He almost died. They oh, like a right poo bag? Stomach. Yes. Oh. So then he, once he, we opened up the, the, we reopened up the check cashing stores and I'm running them by myself now. Whoa. Like after how week. many years How many years after? No. This like is we, like, like after the riot. Oh, this is a couple months or no, weeks? No, no, like a week later. Like a week. So the business, we got to go on. <laughs> Billy, Billy got oh. 25, you know, and Stuart. You're the dude now. So now I'm the only dude. Oh, geez. So anyways, but Billy... Once he goes up, he's at the strip club now, DJ. I'm like, fuck. Oh, Billy? Yeah, he got shot. And but now fucking... it's a blessing in disguise. <laughs> but not like a, not a DJs at strip clubs don't mix. Yeah, D- yeah. DJs at strip clubs, it's like playing like a, like a CD. Right, right. And you say, yeah. coming up on stage, yeah, put those hands together yeah, for candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So you got in the mix of that too, huh? So yeah. man, I was so I was like, fuck, I wish I would have got shot. You know right, I mean? right, right, right. <laughs> Shit, he's wearing this. I'm like, fuck. He liked that yeah, job. Yeah, you got shot. Yeah. But fuck, look at you. You're going to strip club now, yeah. and I'm stuck at the fucking at the check, check cashing, cashing store. place. Yeah. So slowly, we couldn't recover from the check cashing store. So one, one by one, the store shut down. And then Billy hooked you up, huh? And then Billy got me hung. Oh so hell good. yeah, he did. Yeah, so How was I, it working? Oh, that? that lasted for ten years. You oh, worked it for ten years. I went from worrying about getting killed every day you know people say oh I, you know i grew up in east la you know we my homeboys got shot all the time and like i i was living every day just like that yeah yeah just like that knowing that fuck that could have been me and these motherfuckers are probably watching me Jesus. oh my god this motherfucker oh my so god so from that point all i never had anything in my hands ever all the money that i transported was inside in stacks inside my my uh, vest my vest you're, you're. so i always had a bulletproof vest on i, ne- I didn't shave i just looked yeah, like yeah. a bum right and i always had money orders mm-hmm. and money orders and cash all, all up over my, your bulletproof my, vest my bulletproof vest wow i made sure to never have anything in my hands never like, with, fuck that with the gun right and everywhere yeah. I drove I always had my gun ready to go I blacked out my side windows I said what were you driving I, back then cops would pull me over because my shit was so tinted oh, I go tinted. listen I explained to him was about it like the a lights. Civic you're driving a Civic or something or? Uh, a Nissan mini truck oh cool cool yeah and uh, so I just had sure. everything just blacked out fuck. and the cops would pull me over and they go yeah, yeah and I said I got a gun on me you know you know, I, I, I work at the checkout store the one you know they would know oh, oh shit okay okay be oh, safe be safe oh. but then one time in Inglewood I got pulled over and they were arrested my ass and threw me in jail for the gun I'm like it didn't work oh, on this one yeah. he goes get on the floor I'm like fuck I work at a checkout store yeah. shit got arrested for one day 